last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? I am a ghost, Hakakure! I'm gonna haunt you! No, no, no! Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. That's on my other faces. I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait. Wait. What's. Wait. What's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, I'm on that. Seriously, he stinks. Ah. Let me go, though. He smells like a wet dog. Get out of the way! Shoo, shoo! Weep. In that flash, my tears dried up. And now, back to trying to ditch school. Just do it. It'll turn out okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to talking. Wow, almost a long time with caffeine. Welcome back to Dr. Ropa. This is the 1998. Wow, I almost confused my let's play with my podcast. God, brain not working today. Anyways, last time on Trigger Happy Havoc, Kiri Gary rescued me, rescued Makoto, and we climbed the long, long ladder with a weird camera angle. And then we said, Hey, Mark, come and have it one last trial. He's like, Poo, okay. And now we gotta investigate the school, find out who the mastermind really is. And Solve all the mysteries of the school. Can we do it? I think we can. But how hard it will be? Let's find out. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mysteries of this school. And we can all escape together. I guess I'll take another. Uh, I guess I'll start by taking another look at Makuro's Monokuma file. Did the explosion? The identity is unknown. They, they were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a little time with the, a knife, which leads to the body. It also had been stuck. In, struck in the head of an object about to get in the middle pipe. The body was also the body was covered with other wounds. These were at least several days old. Once you find out who killed Mikuro Ikisaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab the door in the data center. Locking his face on it. On oh, the second floor of the dorm through the gate was down before. Let's be open now, right? So that, I'll double check with the areas that were connected with the murder. At least the garden and the dojo. Alright, time to get started! The check. Right, this is the area. Start the dorms first. Right there. Whee! Here we go. The gate's open. We find out to get for the dorms, which means I have to do it.
second floor of the dorms. Looks like some ancient ruin. Or no, it's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up here or something. completely torn apart. I mean, it's not really a bed, a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Garbage with money on it! I opened the door just a crack and, and glanced inside. Me close it again. Do see the hint of a bathroom? Just a big pile of rubble. to go and in the bathroom oh, they got full doors in the in the in the in the big upstairs bathroom is full of flockers. It must, be, must have been for the whole speak students who came before us. Class before ours must have used these lockers. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not bother gonna try. The metal plate mounted this locker. There's no way to get it open. Locker. Nope. It's a card reader installed in the door. Let's get the locker open. After all, pretty similar to the card reader for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you see, you have to open those up. Does that mean? Let's give it a try. I took out my handbook and ran across the card reader. And then, no luck. Maybe the only lockers the owners can open it, which means none of us can do it. This locker. Nope. No luck. They're already open yet. Yeah. Like a student's room. It has more of an adult atmosphere. Correct. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko? Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have only one little regret. So I decided to get out one more time. Huh, a regret? A strange gap in the wall. Is this a kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? 
so there's a, there's a gap here, but not a normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean you like a hidden room? I th I think I might know how to open it. To open it, you figure out some kind of trick or something. Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not even sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on, the, on that PC that I think controls it. And the right password, and the door is open right up. However, but I don't have a clue on what that password might be. Are we really? Are I really? Are we? All we really know, it's probably made up of letters and or numbers, and we can't, we can't go from there. Right, that's not, you're right, that's not, not enough to really go on. It's true. I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I he desired to, but nothing that might have been his password. Ugh. I'm not thinking about how much time I wasted on this. This is home to a computer. Let's belong to the headmaster. How to open it, but that's where I got stuck. You know how to open it. You figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. However, it's true. The chair. I just didn't use him like this. It must be the headmaster's. Sell them to a computer. Headmasters. There he is. Send it to the headmaster. Right. It would seem. Mm. Ever use this last? Looks like they are very. Whoever used this last looks like they are very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results on it. Do we ever get the info on the ultimate despair? However. There's not much though, nothing we are, don't already know. In other words. The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead it points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy that happened one year ago. One of the worst sort of, sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. However. And that's all and that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? <sighs> I guess that's the best he could do as a complete Kirigiri failure. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info, info we can get our hands right. on. Hmm. I see. That's a good outlook to have. This bear has been added to the two bullets in handbook. Jeez. The hidden room he should get into. That's what he meant by regret. I think we can assume there's some must be some kind of clue right in there. 
But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we need it, before we get in there, we need to figure out the password. If Kyoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait. There might be a chance. Password could be something that Kyoko wouldn't have thought of, or something she's not wanting to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. I mean, how she is, I would have thought the idea had never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it just to be sure? Well, I don't like you need my permission. If you want to try it, do whatever you want. Okay. You know, you know I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, it might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collect myself and then turn the face of the computer monitor. I'm going to type the password here and type in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, tightly trembling, as, and as I finished typing it in, Did it? Kyoko! It worked! Mm. Mm. Why? Kyoko? While looking at me, she disappeared in the hidden room. She looked grim. Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko? I may as well not even been in the room. I guess I'll fix only, on only one thing. A present? Wrapped and covered in with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. There's a brightly careful card box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. If you open it, I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful. Why? Do you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, surprising possibly. Huh? It would seem... If it's what I think it is... At the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway... Just don't scream or anything, okay? Are you saying something that would make you want to scream? Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna open it! That Step by step, step, step by heavy step, I approach the box. Take a deep breath and took hold of, the, hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. I began to sneak it this way into the box. 
I thought it has a left inside and... Uh? Jeff's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. The last thing I expected to find in such a quiet, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I see. Just as I thought. What? Box. So as you thought, how could you have known that? And there are bones in there. Human bones. Wrong. Well, it's not that, well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had that feeling that it would be his body. That pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box. My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. You found the box. Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kiko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Hold on, how can you know that for sure? How do you, know, you know that's him? So... Given all the information we already have, that's the only possible answer. So, so the same... So the same person that may have already been the mastermind who planned all this out and the file that had messed with a man in his late 30s. It's possible he's somewhere in, in the school right now. It's a very polite approach, I know. But okay, enough of the punt. Anyways, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you so already, but... This killing game began with 16 students. Please events. All of them high school students. Woo! And the only principal that takes her to the high school students began are those same 16 students. Trigo said the headmaster was probably here in the school. The only ones who were alive at the start of the school game were us 16 students. You put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume. In other words. Most likely my father was in this school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyways. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She's only trying to seem calm. She, she said that it was as, as, as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But, but I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. This is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wouldn't she had father so she cut off all ties. Was that all there was to it? I give up some of that pride. In order to help in hopes of peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing that it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Did she really give her up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. In room present. Headmaster's desk. It probably hadn't come, hadn't come my clue, but I really want to check out, but... I really didn't want to check Kyoko's dad's desk without permission. 
Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you because... sure? Never forget. Let never let anyone, never let anything get in the way of investigation. I don't. Okay, if you don't mind. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I remember th through each one finding nothing but unrelated documents. In the last drawer. Huh? This is. It's a handbook, right? And it has a label on it. it says it in case of emergency. I felt like the time the emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words. A handbook with no limitations. Given to the school's headmaster, the ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what it is. I think you're probably right. It, seem... it may prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh, but Kyoko. I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. And I guess I'll take it. Are we okay? This filing cabinet seems like the kind of place you find a clue. Let's take a closer look. I want to get some kill kill like some stranger sets in your dad's stuff. Hey. Hmm. It's fine, check whatever you want. Are you sure? Okay then. Went to the drawer each drawer top. One by one, starting at the top. But all I found were piles of, un piles of unrelated documents. It's pretty to his job, huh? Well. This is because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. Instead, he left it all behind. Now, if. If he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been that much more of a failure. I'm sure you can stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. Hmm. How's this picture? It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Hey, Kyoko! Why would you... Well, this is annoying. Came to cut myself free of the past, and yet. To now find something like this. So, what do you expect me to do now? And I was right. The picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. The headmaster had this picture all this time. Once I really cared about her. Why? What? I wanted to deface him and tell him my, myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. I, I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even to the opportunity that I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko. It's a photo of the head the headmaster. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Huh? Can I ask you a favor? A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to, to ask you this. And I know it only inconvenience you that much more, but... Hey. Could you, could you get the hell out of here? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while, I'd like to be alone for a bit. Kyoko. Don't worry. 
I'm fine. Just a second. I need to keep my lessons in order. <clears throat> you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. <clears throat> How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But. Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you're going to say? Um. If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't. And this isn't an issue. This is an issue that can be settled by with theories. That picture didn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I. That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right. I'm anyway. sorry. Once I get myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. Is really okay? Kyoko must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it's a shock to me. Not what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the master might perform that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The headmaster is dead. The one lean helps me get staff. Uh, the, the one who finally finalized the plan to isolate you. The close big headmaster. So that very vain person may well be the headmastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster was a man in his late 30s. It seems poss possible, even likely, he's somewhere in the school right now. You're wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. At least the master identity is. <laughs> Ooh, it's a funny pillow. I didn't pull outside now. Okay, the, the puns. Here's a hint. I tried to tell you this already, but. This is a game of game. 16 participants, all of them high school students. And if you're the only people who take a single step to help you pick the coin game began, are those same, are those very same 16 students. If you have in the main hall, add Mukuro to the mix and you get 16. Believe me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Even Mukuro. Even sees it. Undiably dead. So once, so the ones that are still left alive are... Me, Yakya, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and Kyoko. All those six people are still alive. There's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I just believe it. There has to be some other way. It just has to be. Open. Uh. What do I got with this locker? No block. Door. Locker open. Oh, it's pretty similar to the original handbook. 
can proceed up to that. I mean, we'll try. Uh, then, no luck. I don't know if it can do it. But wait, wait, but. My residency, you have looked, I found the headmaster's hidden room. Let's get one more try. I took the emergency hand and look and ran across the card reader and. Alright, just something for. Now let's see what we got inside. I don't see anything that might be a clue. And uh, the eager reader and beep. Open. I don't see anything outside. Nope, no clue there either. This is one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see any name ring on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is. There's some kind of writing inside, it could be important. I don't like my idea of privacy, but I'd better take a look. That girl's handwriting. All the letters are spaced out evenly. Like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was into the pockets, pocket book, but my hand froze when I read a certain page. I saw something familiar written there, words I've heard before. There's a plan to help to get into this shelter with the students here and communal, communal life. I decided to talk to the one who came with the plan directly. I just so happened to be the headmaster and my father. He's, he's willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. That's what he said. The point is to keep our students at Prodigy safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome this disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. If the future of our community, our world, is not like Jason, they call this our final hope. We must isolate the, our superior youth from the corrupted world and to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is, the, uh, this, is, this is the only hope we have. I hope you'll you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it, it was, and I knew exactly who the pocket book belonged to. Kyoko couldn't be anyone else. This belongs to Kyoko. What was doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She says she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. I, to, I decided to talk with the man who came to the plan directly. I to my father. What does all this mean? I could give you scan the remaining pages of the notebook. Must have been well, something that would have proved me wrong with this whole thing. When I reached the last page, the question marks spin through my mind. Just, just starts being that much faster. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the right, right, right here was messy, disorganized, sprawled. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? The spare walks among us, and so we and so we survived. 
there's a second despair. Is organized. It belongs to probably has. Uh, because, uh, whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their lives. This is a crystal ball? Not a crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used his locker. It's just not possible. This is like a playing card? No. They're. Tarot, card, tarot cards. But wait. Aren't those used for telling the fortunes? It's a coincidence, right? I've got a textbook and notebook stacked here in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I'd assume whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. Turn to act as casual and natural as possible. I took the notebooks and saw when I looked inside the notebook. Any sense of uneasiness I may have had evaporated. What? There's no denying what I saw. That notebook was written Yasher Hagakure. Is this our Yasher hero? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean. He attended classes here? No, that can't be possible. I mean, Hero came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. And we were all stuck in this evil, stuck in this evil world. We never had a chance to take any classes. So what is this notebook? I see the less sense it makes. It's these lockers. I mean, they had long the previous sense, right? Why am I seeing this? Why are there things here, the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A book that seems to belong to Hiro? Talk about that seems to belong to Kyoko? That's to be some kind of explanation. If I want to find out, uh, that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. I have to believe in everyone. Body. It's not here. Is that a tool shed? I'll check to make sure. I didn't find anything close to a dead body. But here, that must be. I have no idea where. Of course, it's the only thing I need to check in here. There's one other thing. That tarp. That tarp, the tarp is playing a key role in their the case, so. We'll look into it. The killer used the tarp to keep the drinkers from getting the body wet. This means the killer might have left some kind of clue behind here. Huh? In this before, but there's a small stamp in one of the corners. Tarp. It says Biolab. And this was the game in the Biolab? Check in here. 
Where have I have gone? Just looking for it. Oh, Toto, this is, this is where you were. What do you want? Am I so disgusting that you me out of your sight? That's all. I think I thought you had a clue. <laughs> well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. That was your clue. <laughs> I'm curious this is a place like the case is for something that isn't here, right? Well, that thing isn't uh, anything out of the ordinary here. <laughs> Get back to me! Give me back the rest of time! Calm down, Toko! What's your problem? Tell me to calm down! Yeah, you're not know, going to right now! Why do you find out that you're coming useless? Give for nothing! I was going to say that! Mm. Mat Master Will! I'm not sure, I'm not sure I can disagree with that! <laughs> I don't want that! I think I'm always going to be looking down on Why won't you accept me? Well, I'm looking close here, so I'm not going. Mm. What is in here? So it's my tip to frame Kyoko. Here, using this to train. Here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. It's like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? There's a thing of tarps here. I've seen a lot of those lately. Ah, oh, why is it so cold in here? I'm failing to figure out. Save the monitor. I said, "Just here, we're working with how cold it is in here." It's like a weird machinery machine or something blows into the wall. On the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. The other side. Or something blowing the wall. I'm like this before. I said, I think I was thinking horror movies and stuff. The first were storing dead bodies. Does this mean the spy lab is actually a morgue? Let's look, let's look, let's look around. Oh, it's kind of a booklet here. Looking at the instruction manual. We offer an echo friendly alternative to stand. The standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. Listen to the germicidal gym, lamp. You also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply search the cadaver and the blue light will let you know the automated system has activated. Temperature. And humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimal settings. For, for our system, everyone can keep by as fast as a day here for as long as you need. And in an unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we'll do it. we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. So this is an instruction manual for the fridge?
the right hand lights are off. Right, I, I think I get it. You said to me now, this was a makeshift morgue. I love to get the edge of true bullets. And Buckle's life by each slot. It's like the set when the slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each slot, what up blue, another one of the victims is. I have a light light to add to the true bullets. Hmm. I can't let him listen to take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died. That's the the Mastermind. To die to continue my investigation. I don't need an option. Headmaster's room. I had a lot of awful about it. This is my first time seeing it for myself. <laughs> ah, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Ah, Makoto, it's you. I'll be up here. I like my cigarette over the floor. That not makes me feel anxious. This room, there's a surveillance camera. Here, there's a monitor. The trophies that even they sold in this display case. It's all seems fully made. It's full of files of, uh, and thick books. Hey, Makoto. Not possible. Are you ignoring me? If you offer, you, are you ignoring me? You gotta forgive me because it's for you. Ignorance. We all here remember this moment. Fine. <laughs> well, well, you came to the right place this time. I'd like to see something interesting. What do you mean? Something interesting. Take a look at this. It's on top of that pathetically ostracized desk. That's, an, that's number 78, it's in it roster. Hmm. It contains profiles for all of us and the Mukuro. So, in other words, apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mikro's profile in Mikro's room. I see. Hmm. That's right. It also mentioned class 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since our profiles are listed here, along with hers, in other words, there can be no doubt. Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuro Kisaba, 16th student. That was how, uh, how Kyoko learned about it. But it would seem that, that Kyoko was in here was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. even tearing the way she, the paper had been crumpled must have been in a hurry well since he's stuck in the get it I'm sure you want as fast as possible 
But what's your point? But what's your point? <laughs> she, was, she was in so much of a hurry. This only got the first page. The first page. Hmm. Correct. Rokuro's profile actually contains two pages. What? So, in other words... In other words... When it comes to this profile... There's more information about Mokuro that we still didn't have. What kind of information, was what, what kind of information is it? Why do you actually explain everything, every little thing? You can read, can't you, peasant boy? I think it seems to be kind of, kind of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. Interesting. I don't know kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us an interesting clue. I was helpful seeing the, the Biakia as I skimmed through this report. Mukuro, Mukuro reappeared suddenly and in the background and then he floats close but just out of reach. And he knows the ultimate despair. Like now I can be sure that this little person in his parent group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some kind of, sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. I need to pay attention to them for behavior, too. This is my gut feeling, but I think he's dangerous. Despite the constant battles, was have gone through as a member of Fenrir. Once he entered the hope was he didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I wouldn't believe in her, since one of my Students, after all. But if I decide he's a danger to the other students, I'll be forced to take all reasonable measures. So this is fair. I'm going to think that dot now. Won't that mean that Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Mukuro? Because even the headmaster was going to be afraid of of what Mikuro was, was capable of. They would, they, would, they would have to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe that means Mr. Mind's even stronger than Mikuro was. What? What's wrong, peasant boy? Huh? That's fine. You seem lost in thought. I should probably point out one other thing. So, for information, I thought you should note. What is it? Do you note the picture in there? A picture of the girl perhaps you've never seen before? <laughs> A girl who seems to be included as part of our class. Number 78. I mean, that, that, that's be enough to f for you to figure out who, who the girl is. Hmm. And further information about that girl is included in the file. Five foot, seven inches, and nine foot pounds, even with your vitals. 31, 22, 32. <laughs> well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me if, like if she had a nice body? Stop you hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse. And maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean... What is he trying to say? The chance that the body isn't actually in the pros? Is that what he's saying? 
personally. I'm thinking it seems all seems impossible, but it would it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. You do that information. It's your business. So I'm about to be Biakia's Bia errand boy then, huh? What if I add the truth bullets? Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice from me to you, so I just you pay attention. Got me advice. Advice from me? You seem to be along with Kyoto quite well. Not that we're being along or, or making out or anything like that. She's just uh, lucky to help me. Hmm. Well, don't put much faith in her. Huh? In other words, the cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? <laughs> That's what I think. Call the hunch. A hunch. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. But keep it in mind, thanks. Hmm. Alright. I think with that mystery, I'll call a day. And see if I can see if I can come up with it next time. Until me again. Leave a comment. Leave a, please leave a comment and a, a like on this video. It'll really help me out. And subscribe and then hit that bell. And if you can afford it, please will check out my Amazon list list or Patreon. But until but in the meantime, never stop learning and go the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye.